Hey cousins, welcome back to my channel. So I know you guys haven't seen my natural hair in a while, so I thought I'd start this video out just by showing you guys what my hair is looking like. This is my hair after I took down the braids that I had for my last protective style, which as you guys know, I've been protective styling with wigs, but I wanted to come and give you guys a quick somewhat length check. So this is what my hair is looking like. I do plan on trimming my hair soon. I haven't had a trim in about six months, but as you guys know, I don't put heat on my hair so I can go a little bit longer between trims. And this is what my hair looks like in the back. I'm just about grazing waist length for the most part. So I like to spray my hair down with warm water. This opens up the hair cuticle and it allows me to kind of break that gel cast from slicking my edges down. And then I gently massage my scalp to get my hair more moldable and ready for the bun. So now I'm taking Eco Styler Gel. In this video, I'm using the Eco Styler Gel Argan Oil, but as you guys know, I have all of them. You can use any of the gels that you like. This is just the one that I'm using today. And then I use a very, <laughs> very generous amount, and I start putting that along the perimeter of my hair and then smoothing it up towards the crown. I do the exact same thing to the very back of my head and then use my hands and smooth it up towards the crown. Once all the gel is applied, I begin with just my hands. I don't really like to use brushes unless I absolutely have to. And I'm again to mold my hair up into a ponytail. Here's just a little quick ugly shot. You know, since so many people have so much to say about my skin as if I'm not comfortable in it. Here go all that ugly boo. There you go. There you go. <laughs> anyway so normally I take two elastic ties but for some crazy reason I only grab one and it's just gonna have to do and just work all your hair up into that ponytail making it you know as loose or as tight as you would like but most importantly just make sure when you're pulling your hair through that you pull all of your hair through even if you have some longer pieces just so that you prevent your hair from breaking and tangling and all that good stuff Next, you're just gonna split your hair into two sections. So take that one big ponytail and split it into two. And then you are going to twist one side. I like to make my twist kind of medium, not too tight, but I still want the twist to be able to be visible and seen, so not too loose either. And then take that and wrap it around towards the very top of the ponytail, pinning that down closest to your scalp. So next you're gonna twist that section up, but then you're gonna wrap that around the very top of the other twist. So you don't wanna take that back down towards your scalp. You wanna sit it directly on top of the other twist. And this is what's gonna give your buns that dimension and that height that you're looking for, even if you don't have the longest of hair. And this is just me disappointed in myself because my scarf was so dirty. I promise I wash them, but it's just all that gel caked up from when we lay down our edges and stuff. And I was just like, Amber, you can do better. <laughs> so just let that sit while I did my makeup. And then I am back and that is Bay in my frame. He he just, he don't have no kind of care in the world for the fact that I'm filming. <laughs> but make sure you blend that makeup, girl. Make sure you blend after you take that scarf off. And then, of course, I gotta lay my baby hairs. I like to lay my baby hairs after. I just feel like they lay a lot easier if I slick them back first and then come back. And finally, I'm just spraying it with some shine spray. Of course, all the products that I use will be listed in the description box. But this is the final result, guys. Quick tutorial on how I do a high bun so that it looks super sleek and height even if you don't have the length. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already a cousin. Love you guys so much. I will see you in the next one. Bye.